as you build out your space on Reclaim Hosting, you're probably eventually going to get to the point where you're running more than one piece of software or different types of things on your account. And one way that you can separate those is using subdomains. Now, subdomains aren't top-level domains. Top-level domains would be like having toins.net as well as maybe toolsfortheweb.com and a couple other different domains. Subdomains are actually prefixed onto your actual domain. So for example, with a WordPress blog, maybe I have blog.toins.net. Or in the case of what I'm going to use for an example here, I want to install an Omeka um, site. And so I'm going to create archives.toins.net. And so the way you do this in cPanel is to go under the domains area and click on subdomains. And you'll see it has a couple straightforward options here. First, I need the name of the subdomain. So in this case, I could type in whatever I want. I'm going to choose archives. The domain itself that it's going to be a subdomain of and then the document root. Now the document root is just a folder within your account where it's going to serve up those files. So in this case, you can see cPanel has named this based on the name of the subdomain itself. It's right at the root of my account. So if I were to go into the file manager, I'll see a folder for that. I'm gonna go ahead and create that. And so now that that's been created, I can go ahead and go to this website. And you'll see it's got a very exciting site here. There's nothing in there except for a CGI bin folder. That's pretty normal. Um, once we've actually installed some software to the subdomain, it'll look a little bit more attractive. Um, but that's all it takes to create a subdomain. Um, under, if I go back here, you'll see a list of all the subdomains and you can manage them. So I could go in and remove ones that I'm not using. I could change that document root. If I already had a folder and I didn't need what was in here, I could go in and change it to something else. And I could also set up a redirect. So maybe I have subdomain archives.tons.net, but I really just wanted to redirect to a different URL entirely so that when people go to that subdomain, they're sent somewhere else. So I could type in a new URL here, and then from then on, everybody who goes to archives.tons.net gets redirected to the new URL. So that's one way that you can handle redirects in your account as well. So that's it. Once you've created subdomains, they're available throughout cPanel to install software and manage your domain. Thanks for watching.